Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title, also known as your Title King. And we're coming to you with another very special guest. We have Robert with us from Charles Rutenberg Realty, as well as the Housing Hub here in South Florida. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about what that Housing Hub means uh, in this video. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, it's great to be here. So I met Robert several years ago. He's, he's one of these unique individuals that went and opened up a branch office of his local real estate company, which it's very rare that you see someone do that because they don't have the, the drive necessarily to, you know, become almost their own entrepreneur, business right. owner under another company. They don't have the ability to sign that lease because of fear. So, so you took action and did it. We're gonna talk a little bit how that housing hub comes into play. Uh, we met Robert, he does a lot of these home buyer seminars. His office is inside the Lauder Hill Mall. Um, so tell them a little bit about how you found that and, and why you selected a location like that. Okay, uh, well, like Kevin said, the location is inside the Lauder Hill Mall, which is centrally located in Broward County off of 441 and Sunrise Boulevard. We actually came across the location because we were looking for a site where we can actually get our current traffic that we was currently doing with our current business, but also get additional traffic as well too. So when it came down to choosing a site, it was more so how can we get extra money as we are already going to have to pay the overhead and the expenses as well too. So that was a great decision with the Lauder Hill Mall, and it has really paid off for us. That's great, it's a great location. For those of you watching, this video is geared towards those of you that may think your credit may not be so good, and, and Robert's the type of guy that can show you how they can change that around, and your credit may not be so bad, and how you're able to uh, purchase a home, purchase maybe first-time home buyers. He works a lot with city grants, right? You work a That's lot right. with a lot of the different municipalities that give you free money to buy a house. So if you're a consumer there and you say, you know what, now's the time, 2017, the market's hot, I'd like to buy my first home, but I just don't know where to start, this is the guy you wanna start with. You wanna be able to go into the Lauder Hill Mall, he's got the system there to get you pre-approved, pull, pull your credit, fix your credit if necessary, and just make sure that, that you understand the process because what we found is that more and more of these clients that are looking to buy a house, they just don't know where to start. So if there's someone there who, who may work just a regular nine to five job, their credit's so-so, mm -hmm. uh, and they're currently renting, how do they start? They give you a call and, and what? Well, the first thing is yes, give us a call. What we're trying to teach our clients is to handle the three points, which is one, first, learn. And as you say, we do our home buyer seminars for one, that we can teach people how to actually get from A to Z with the buying process. One of the biggest things is that clients just don't know exactly what to do or what's the next step to do if they have some credit issue or if they have some income or income taxes issue. So that's the first step we do is one, we help you to make a plan. Then the second step is really to take action and then from there you know we go on to actually having the success of going to purchase your first home or your first investment property so we always say one take that first step you know it's oftentimes we're in the midst of the year we say we want to purchase our first home or our first investment property but we still haven't made that call to sit down and see exactly what is need to be done in order to get to our goal at the end of the day and I know getting these clients in that are watching, you know, after they go through this process, these are the clients, you know, you're the person that's gonna go through this process that thought you couldn't buy a home. You're gonna come into the office here and sign these closing docs and they're crying. They're crying happiness, tears right. of happiness because, you know, being able to accomplish the American dream of home ownership when you thought you couldn't, is just amazing. I get goosebumps just thinking about it and watching how you're transforming these people's lives. And, and he said it first, the first step, education. education. And most people don't educate. They wanna just slam that deal closed. Bring you in, how much money you got, and let's close the deal. It just doesn't happen that way. Doesn't happen. So you're gonna come into to Robert's office over at the Lauder Hill Mall. You're gonna say, you know what? My credit's not so great. You know what? My income may not be so verifiable. Maybe you get some child support, or maybe you get alimony, or, or you know, may, maybe you you're get some bonuses, some commission income. He knows how to structure the deal. He knows how to work with his referral partners in the mortgage business, in the credit repair business, to say, you know what, maybe we can build an alternative trade line. Maybe we can use your utility bill or, or, or something to build your credit up. And you know what the best part is, and what I've learned from, from coming to these seminars, is that 
majority of the people that are sitting there are not eligible to buy a house the day of the seminar. That's right, that's right. But six months later, they are. And if you're in a lease somewhere and you're renting, usually, if, let's say you have three to six months out, you need to start now. To start planning. To build that pipeline. Remember we talked about the pipeline and how that this seminar is gonna build a pipeline of people that may not buy in three months or six months, they may buy in a year from now. They may be first signing a lease, but the whole idea is you need to call Robert now because you need to work on your credit today and you need to work on your income verification today. If you're self-employed, certain things you need to do to prepare for the closing in six months from now. And not everyone is willing to hold someone's hand for that because if they can't buy today, a lot of people just send them on their way and I know what, what you're doing is great. Yes, which is the beauty of our office because we have a lot of realtors and most realtors oftentimes don't want to hold your hand to say, hey, this is the A to Z process. Most of the time, us as realtors, we want to see the pre-approval letter, we want to get to the closing, get to making the money and moving on about our day. Our office is really about building up the entire community. Our slogan is building stronger communities through stronger families. So in, or in order to actually get stronger communities, we have to make sure our families are able to, one, take advantage of the market as we were talking about the different programs that are offered through the different cities. Oftentimes, cities will give you up to $50,000 to help you purchase your first home. So those are different things we have to learn about and also take advantage of. Sometimes we have clients who unfortunately don't take advantage of the opportunity because they may not want to live in a certain area which is giving out that grant money. But ideally, if you're looking as a first time home buyer, you're looking at taking your first step and you really want to take advantage of every opportunity that you have available for you so that you can secure the future of you and also your family. So that's why I say the key step is one, planning and then going forward. And it's an honor to really to do the home buyers event with Kevin because if you go to our um, housing hub page, you'll see at the house and hub we have actual successful events where you and ourself actually have people who have moved into their property started out where they were six months ago and plan and actually use their income taxes to say hey I'm going to use my income tax money towards purchasing my home my first time home Oftentimes, you'll even probably confess it yourself, we get our income taxes and we never know exactly what we do to it or do with the money. So what I always advise my clients, hey, if you're getting 5,000, 10,000, put it towards your first home so you can actually stop paying your rent, right? Right about now in South Florida, a three bedroom, two bath rental property is going about 1,800 to sometimes $2,000 depending on the area. With a first time home mortgage with a $200,000 purchase amount, you're talking about about your taxes and insurance is $1,500 or less. So that difference in savings of $350 can now go as toward planning towards your retirement or planning towards you buying your first investment property instead of just throwing it into the wind. So that's really one of the biggest things we try to educate our clients on and try to make sure we focus on really just to not just focus on getting to the end of getting the money, but actually making sure our client grow and also learn throughout the whole entire process. It's not about the check, it's about building the communities, which leads me into the next topic that I wanted to talk about with you, because it's important. For those people that are watching here, you know, we have two other things we're gonna cover, and one is talking about really the community and giving back. So tell me a little bit about all the pictures I see on Facebook where, you know, you're swinging hammers. What is that about? Swinging hammers, I like that. Well, we, I have, done a different route with the office. One, myself, even before we opened up the office, I was always into community involvement. Um, we actually started a um, nonprofit, which is called the Game Changers, and it's growing, achieving mental empowerment. So we are actually going into the different schools and educating students on, one, how to be a good role model and actually how to be love in action. Kevin was mentioning the swinging of hammers, hammers because we recently did a Project Love where we actually got some of our middle school students, um, the Lauder Hill um, Police Department and the vice principal of the school to come out and help remodel um, one of our senior citizens' um, home. So we did the painting, the landscaping, and it was a fun event that one, it was great to bridge the community together with having the police department there and some of the fire department and even the vice principal there to help one of these centrally located homes where it was a disabled lady and she really loved the help and the property truly if you look at the pictures you see that it went from night to today and it's really an honor to help someone like that we also if 
Kevin has helped us with um, our constant um, Thanksgiving basket we give away each year. So it's an honor to, to actually give out Thanksgiving baskets each year. This year we was able to give out about 50 baskets. So it was great to do something again with combination with working with the school board to figure out who are the families that really need this assistance. So our office is one that we're trying to not just really be in the city or in the community, but we're trying to be a part of the community. And one of the great things we have coming up is that we're doing a community 5K walk in, walk in the city of Lauder Hill. So these are some things that we're going to be doing annually, and we always invite you yourself and everybody to come and be a part of it. So this is, you know, I appreciate everything you do for the community. You know, we, we, we've talked on previous videos about how we give back to the community, whether it's kids in distress, different organizations, and, and it's really about making a foundation for our youth and it's about getting our community back on track to believe they can be better and a lot of that is through charitable work through empowering people uh, and and even more so then you take it into your business and you found a way to take your business and take it to the next level so so these home buyers you're watching this video now's the time to reach out get yourself pre-approved because you too can be a homeowner and you may not even realize it. Why pay someone else's mortgage? That's right. Okay, so we're gonna flip this because we're running out of time real quick into the third segment that I wanted to talk about, and that's the investor business. Because I know you work a lot with a lot of Section 8 buyers, uh, you, investors that are renting to Section 8 homeowners, you arrange people to get some financing for these houses. Um, so we have investors here that may just not have enough money to, to get started in the game. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you do to work with them. Well, one of our nicknames is the King of uh, the Champions of ROI um, because the return on the investment is one of the key things that we focus on with our, invest with our investors. Our goal is to really to one educate a lot of investors because we have many first-time investors who really don't know the steps. So what we're able to do is help someone to one again analyze where they currently are and how can we get them to the point where they're purchasing their first home. We have learned that through the power of using the Section 8 rentals that we can actually get a higher return on our investments. Section 8 is where the government actually pays um, the rent for the tenant. Now, it may not be that they pay 100% of the rent, but typically they will pay 70 to 80% of the rent. And this pay is paid to you every month between the first and the third um, as a direct deposit to your bank account. So for an investor, if I did have a client or a property and I wanted to rent it out, it would be beneficial to me to say, hey, listen, I'm getting 80% of my rent through the government. So I don't even have to look for, you know, the bulk of my payment. Yes, the tenant will be responsible for a portion of their rent. And, you know, everybody has a portion that they have to be responsible for. And, it, and that's great. You want some tenants who have income and, and that actually have jobs. So that's what we do with our, with our tenants. We actually actually screen them and we have a high success ratio of getting tenants who um, actually renew their lease. So when we screen our tenants, we make sure that there's somebody who's been in the property or going to be in your property for two, three, four, five years because one of the benefits is not having to, one, pay somebody like myself every year to, to put into uh, the property to actually fix the property up after each lease to say, hey, I got more expenses going into it. If we're able to get a tenant that's going to be in the property for five to ten years, it makes investment into um, properties very beneficial. So we try to educate our clients on all the different possibilities that are, are currently available. Um, and you mentioned if you don't have everything all together. We have great hard money lenders um, like David Dweck who we deal with with private equity funding who may give you something as simple as 15 to 20 percent down. And that's a big difference when most hard money companies are doing 35, 40 percent down. So with building a relationship with ourselves, with David, we're able to get it where your down payment is a little less than nothing. Um, well, not maybe nothing, but it's definitely a lot less than what you're expecting. Absolutely. But ideally, if you have about forty to fifty thousand dollars, we can get you to purchase a property, handle all your repairs, and then at the end of the day, if it's a three bedroom, we're getting eighteen hundred for the rental. Sometimes for four bedrooms, we're getting two thousand to twenty two hundred for the rentals. So you can see that that rental amount is really, really beneficial when we're talking about hey, we're purchased the property for 150000 and we're getting 
two thousand dollars on a monthly rent. Exactly. So those are those are big things right there. So right. that business is excellent. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to come in today for this little fireside chat. I know the people watching found extreme value in it because I did just hearing about all the different things you're doing is someone wants to buy a home, someone wants to rent a home, someone's credit's not great. You know, it's about finding people in the community that, that care. That's true. So you care, you care about the community, you care about the people in the community. Go check out the Lauder Hill Mall, go check out the office at Housing Hub there. It's an amazing opportunity to walk in and just learn from someone who's helping people achieve such great success. So thank you very much. For those of you watching, don't forget to subscribe below. I tell you on all the videos, if you don't subscribe, you lose out on the next opportunity to see one of our next videos. We're gonna do so many more, but comment below, tell me what you thought. Maybe take the video, give them a call, and just tell me what you thought. Give me some feedback on what other videos you'd like to see, because we're always looking to produce educational videos for you, the consumer, you, the realtor, you, the investor, to help take your business to the next level. And if we can help someone by this video achieve the American dream, yeah. it was worth the production of definitely, it. Definitely, definitely. So we're gonna put all of Robert's information below in the email, so just check it out below, leave a great comment. We look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Again, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the owner of Independence Title, and I hopefully you'll be more successful in real estate. You'll live the American dream and we'll help you get there. Have a great day, everyone.